Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll look at how to determine the pile capacity. The main idea of piling is to transfer loads from a structure through low bearing capacity strata to higher bearing capacity soil or rock strata. End bearing, friction, or a mixture of both can be used to transfer loads into the underlying strata. Uplift and or horizontal loads can also be resisted with piles. The ground bearing capacity of a pile is determined by the skin friction against the ground interface and the bearing of the base of the pile. A short pile of 3 meters can be used to support a foundation in rock that is 2 meters below the surface. In this case the capacity is predominantly end bearing. Pile cap is essentially a reinforced concrete deep beam that transfers and distributes column load into piles. So, now we'll use a simple formula to determine the ultimate pile capacity in clay soils. AB is the area of base. AP is surface area of shaft. SUA is the shear strength of clay of shaft. This can vary and can be summed in discrete lengths based on site investigation data. SUB is undrained shear strength of clay at base of shaft. NC is bearing coefficient commonly 9. Alpha is adhesion factor in the absence of data 0.45 may be used. Tomlinson 2001, reference 10, provides a more comprehensive guide for piles in sandy and clay soils. To compare capacity with unfacted working loads, a safety factor of 2 may be used. Shear strength values for soil that are commonly used. For hard soil shear strength is greater than 150 kN per meter squared. For stiff soil is between 75 to 150 kN per meter squared. And for firm soil between 40 to 75 kN per meter squared. We'll take a look at a worked example based on the formula we talked about earlier. In this example, a column load of 250 kN is transferred to the pile cap, which is supported by two 5.5 meter long piles with 350 mm circular precast diameters that are assumed to be in firm soil and driven onto hard clay. According to the site investigation report, the soil has a shear strength of clay of shaft of 40 kN per meter squared and an undrained shear strength of clay at base of 200 kN per meter squared. In this calculation, we will use the parameters, 9 of bearing coefficient, and 0.45 of adhesion factor. To work out the ultimate pile capacity. First, we need to calculate the area of the base, which equals 3.142, times, diameter 350 mm divided by 1000 to convert it to meter, squared and divide by 4. This gives a value of 0.096 meter squared. Next, we work out the surface area of the shaft, which is 3.142 times pile diameter 0.35 meter times the pile length 5.5 meters. This corresponds to a value of 6.0484 meter squared. Therefore, the ultimate pile capacity equals base bearing capacity which is the area of base 0.096 times shear strength of clay at base of shaft, 200 kN per meter squared, times 9 of bearing coefficient, giving us a value of 173.2 kN. Plus the skin friction capacity, which is the surface area of the shaft 6.0484, times shear strength of the clay of the shaft, 40 kN per meter squared, times adhesion factor 0.45 giving us a value of 108.9 kN. As a result, the total ultimate pile capacity is 173.2 kN plus 108.9 kN, which equals 282.1 kN. We will use a safety factor of 2 to calculate working load capacity. Hence, working load capacity equals ultimate pile capacity 282.1 kN divided by 2. This results in a value of 141 kN. Because there are two piles supporting the column of 250 kN applied load, the load is 125 kN per pile, which is less than the working load capacity of 141 kN. Consequently, the piles are sufficient to carry the load. 
Note that the base bearing capacity 173.2 kN exceeds the skin friction capacity of 108.9 kN. If the pile was made longer, it would penetrate the hard soil zone, with a consequent increase in capacity and proportion of skin friction to base bearing ratio. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.